Have you ever wondered how similar the universe is to a human brain? Imagine two entities. One, an expansive cosmic landscape, home to at least a hundred billion galaxies, and the other, a complex network of about 70 billion neurons within our heads. They appear to be worlds apart, yet an intriguing study has found that these two seemingly distinct systems share a striking resemblance. Yes, you heard it right. The universe and the human brain, despite their vast difference in scale, exhibit a remarkable structural similarity. This might sound fantastical, but let's delve into this fascinating comparison. To begin, consider the universe and the human brain not as monoliths, but as intricate webs or networks, with galaxies and neurons serving as the nodes, respectively. These nodes are spread out in long filaments, creating a complex system that, when viewed from afar, resembles a sprawling, interconnected web. Such a structure is a common sight in images of both the cosmos and the brain, leading to some of their superficial similarities. But here's where it gets even more interesting. In each system, these filaments account for only about 30% of the mass. The remaining 70%, it seems, is made up of passive parts, the water in the brain, and the dark energy in the universe. Despite their passive nature, these components play a crucial role in shaping the overall structure of their respective systems. To further understand these similarities, researchers have compared the distribution of matter across these two networks. They used a technique known as spectral density, commonly employed in cosmology to study the spatial distribution of galaxies. Surprisingly, the distribution of fluctuations within the cerebellum's neuronal network follows the same progression as the distribution of matter in the cosmic web, albeit on vastly different scales. So what does all this mean? This fascinating study suggests that vastly different physical processes can lead to very similar complex and organized structures. Whether it's the colossal expanse of the universe or the intricate network within our heads, it seems the laws of complexity and organization transcend scale and substance. Consider this. The human brain works because of the network of nearly 70 billion neurons, and the universe is thought to have at least 100 billion galaxies. Swirling together in a dance of cosmic proportions, both the neurons and galaxies form complex webs or networks. Picture this as a vast tapestry, where each thread represents a neuron or a galaxy. These threads are woven together, forming intricate patterns of connectivity that spread out in long filaments and nodes. They link up, forming the familiar pictures we've seen of both the universe and the brain. They account for some of the superficial similarities we observe in images. Like an artist weaving an intricate design, nature has a knack for patterns. The complex web-like structures of both galaxies and neurons are not just a coincidence. They're proof of nature's penchant for creating organized structures, even in vastly different physical processes. As we delve deeper into this cosmic tapestry, we see that these threads, these networks of neurons or galaxies, only make up about 30% of the mass in each system. Yes, just 30%. It's like looking at a painting and realizing that the brush strokes you see are only a part of the whole picture. So what makes up the rest? Well, the remaining 70% is made up of seemingly passive parts. For the brain, it's water. And for the universe, it's dark energy. These are like the canvas on which the painting is made, often overlooked, but without which the painting wouldn't exist. Just like how a painting is more than just the sum of its brush strokes, the complexity of the brain and the universe is more than just neurons and galaxies. It's a combination of active and passive parts, working together to form the intricate networks we see. In each system, the threads only make up about 30% of the mass. The remaining 70% is made up of seemingly passive parts, the brain's water, and the universe's dark energy. To dig deeper into these similarities, researchers compared the way the galactic networks form with sections of the brain. Now let's delve into the concept of spectral density. Spectral density, quite intriguing in its own right, is a measure often used in cosmology to study the spatial distribution of galaxies. It provides a fascinating insight into the density and distribution of matter within a system. In this study, scientists applied the concept of spectral density to both the cosmic web of galaxies and the complex network of neurons in the brain. The aim? 
to understand how matter is spread across two extraordinarily different networks. Astrophysicist Franco Vazza from the University of Bologna and neurosurgeon Alberto Felletti from the University of Verona embarked on this explorative journey together. They calculated the spectral density of both systems, revealing some quite surprising findings. Their analysis showed that the distribution of fluctuation within the cerebellum neuronal network on a micro scale from 1 micrometer to 0.1 millimeters follows the same progression as the distribution of matter in the cosmic web. Only difference? The cosmic web scale is immensely larger, ranging from 5 million to 500 million light years. It's a bit like looking at a tiny droplet of water and a vast ocean and realizing they share the same fundamental structure and patterns. It's mind-boggling to think that the cerebellum, a small part of our brain, mirrors the vast cosmic web in its structural organization. So what does this tell us? It suggests that despite the enormous difference in scale and the disparate physical processes involved, similar complex and organized structures can emerge. It's as if the same fundamental laws and patterns underpin the structure and organization of both our brain and the universe. In the grand scheme of things, the distribution of fluctuation within the cerebellum neuronal network and the cosmic web follow the same progression, albeit on different scales. It's a remarkable testament to the interconnectedness and complexity of our universe, and indeed our own brains. Not only do these systems share structural similarities, but they also exhibit similar patterns of connectivity. This intriguing observation paves the way for our exploration into how neutrons and galaxies interconnect, and it's more fascinating than you might think. Let's dive into the cosmic web of the universe and the neuronal network of the human brain. Both are intricate, complex systems comprised of numerous nodes or points of connection. In the universe, these nodes are galaxies and in the brain, they are neurons. Now the intriguing part is how these nodes cluster and form connections. Researchers, in their relentless pursuit of knowledge, compared the average number of connections between each of these nodes in both systems. What they discovered was striking. The number of connections and how they cluster in both the cosmic web and the neuronal network were surprisingly similar. This unexpected level of agreement suggests that these vastly different systems might not be so different after all. But what does this similarity imply? It implies that the structure and connectivity of galaxies and neurons are not random or arbitrary. They follow certain patterns and principles which are surprisingly similar despite the vast differences in scale and physical properties. Franco Vaza, an astrophysicist who worked closely on the study, remarked, probably the connectivity within the two networks evolves following similar physical principles. This statement is profound as it suggests a fundamental similarity in how the universe and the brain organize themselves. Now, think about it. The physical powers that regulate galaxies and neurons are strikingly different. Galaxies are governed by the laws of astrophysics, including gravity and dark energy. Neurons, on the other hand, are regulated by biological processes and electrochemical signaling. Yet, despite these vast differences, the way they connect within their respective networks is strikingly similar. Despite the striking difference between the physical powers regulating galaxies and neurons, the connectivity within the two networks evolves following similar physical principles. This fascinating discovery bridges the gap between the microcosm of the human brain and the macrocosm of the universe, suggesting that the universe might just be a larger version of our own brain. So what does all this mean for our understanding of the universe and the human brain? Our journey has led us to a startling revelation. The universe and the human brain, despite their incomparable scales, share a remarkable structural similarity. Both are composed of vast networks, whether they be galaxies or neurons, that form intricate webs of connections. These networks only account for approximately 30% of the total mass in both systems, leaving us to ponder the role of the more passive elements, the universe's dark energy and the brain's water. The shared characteristics don't end there. The spectral density of both the cosmic web and the neuronal network follow the same progression, albeit on vastly different scales. This uncanny resemblance extends to the ways these networks connect. 
their connectivity, it seems, evolves according to similar physical principles. This is a captivating discovery, considering the strikingly different forces at play in the regulation of galaxies and neurons. These findings have profound implications. They hint at a universal principle of organization and suggest that vastly different physical processes can lead to very similar structures. This could mean that the rules governing the intricate dance of galaxies in the cosmos might also apply to the complex networks of neurons firing in our brains. It's a tantalizing prospect that could open up new avenues for research, bridging the gap between neuroscience and cosmology. Moreover, it's a humbling reminder of our place in the cosmos. We are part of a universe that, in some ways, resembles the very brains that allow us to contemplate it. It's a poetic illustration of the phrase, as above, so below. These two complex networks show more similarities than those shared between the cosmic web and a galaxy or a neuronal network and the inside of a neuronal body. It makes us wonder what else is there in the universe that mirrors our own existence.